Hi everybody. Today, Monday the 18th, we went over a few things. We went over tablature, how to play tabs in the right form, and then we went over the folk strum. First, we'll start off with the folk strum. So we started off doing step one, hitting the strum, just playing a G chord, G, G, C, D, uh, hitting it, let it ring, one, two, let it ring, one, two, three, let it ring, one, two, three, four. Oh, you know what? These numbers are backwards, but you have to kind of compensate for that. One, and then we did and. We introduced upstrokes. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. Now the upstrokes is just letting your pick hit the string on the way back up to do the next downstroke. So if these are downs, I'm going away from the, the strings when I come up. Now if I want to do an and, I'm just going to let this pick hit the strings on the way back up. So now I'm doing ands. One, two, three, one and two and three and four and. That strumming pattern that we just did was one, two and three. I'm sorry. One, two, one, two and three, four. One, two and three, four. that my hand is moving like a pendulum. Same speed, same, it's not speeding up or slowing down the entire time. That's what you're aiming for. So after one, two, and three, four, you'll move on to one, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. Then you move on to one, two, and, and now we take out that beat three. We do a miss there that says miss, that says miss. One, two, and miss, and four. So we're gonna do a fake strum on beat three. One, two, and miss, and four. 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 One, two, and, and four. Oh, my strap just broke. So, um, that was the folk strum. The second thing we did was learning how to play tablet play tab at tablature. In this paper right here, we learned that whatever is in the space of this string gets played. So if I put a like for example here is your top string. If I if I put a three there, that means top string third fret. Six top string sixth fret. Eight top string eighth eighth fret. You, put, you read this from left to right, just like you read um, a book. Now this is backwards because my, my camera is backwards, uh, but that would be three, six, eight, three, six, nine, eight, three, six, eight, six, three, three. Four parts, part one and part three are the same. Uh, let's see, if you put some circles on top of each other, anything stacked like this, those are all opens. That would just be a strum them all at the same time. If you had zeros not stacked on top of each other, you would play a strum, and then you would play zero, 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 zero. You know, pick, pick as you go. So that would be nothing, and then that would be what's written up here in the top example area. There are three things about this picture that you want to make sure you are doing correctly with your hand position. Number one, you want to make sure that this line right here, that, that index finger is long and straight and laying across the strings, that there is space between the palm of your hand and the neck of the guitar, which is this. You want to make sure that your thumb is low and not high. In full chord or chords, we have our, our palm is touching, our thumb is way up high, and our fingers, our index fingers, arced. Here it's the exact opposite. The thumb is low in the middle of the guitar, index fingers straight and laying across the strings, pressing down on the top, and there's space. Our palm is not touching, whereas here it is. That will look like this. Now, you can see that, uh, if you can see, kind of, <laughs> you can see my thumb is 
here, my thumb is in the middle of the guitar. <coughs> my index finger is long and straight. My right hand is resting on the bridge here. And then I play. Moving this hand together. Now I'm moving my thumb and my finger together. See my thumb is right here, but it's down low. So my thumb and my index finger move together. That is all you need to know for this week.